Before we go any further, the, the, the secret is out of the bag. Yes, I am a rapper. This is going to get it out there. Swallow, take a swallow and deep breath. Yeah, he's a rapper. But I assure you, <coughs> that it's going to be all right, all right? It's going to be all right. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Put your hand together for my brother, the Lord, for the co labor of the DJ Invisible. Hold it down for me. I, I, I often lay this challenge, um, every opportunity God has uh, granted me to stand before his people in light of this reality of our present day and time, which is we are all aware of the negative stigma and connotation that is associated with hip hop culture and hip hop music. We, we, we know the filthy videos, the filthy language you put up to, the red light, the car comes on side of you and it's vibrating everything around you, and you just know this vulgar stuff coming out of the window. And, and we all are aware of that. Amen? But I want to challenge you in the light of scripture. Would that be all right? Of this reality. Hip hop culture is not the problem. But as a result of what took place in Genesis chapter number three, which is known as the fall of man or original sin, the Bible teaches that man has been infected with a damnable disease. And it's spelled with three letters. S-I-N. And this depravity is manifested in the reality of this. That because he is depraved and rotten to the very core of who he is, speaking of fallen humanity, whatever he put his hands to touch becomes an extension of his depravity. That's why the lyrics are filled with sex, violence, and drugs. That's why the videos of naked women and promoting everything that's anti-God of the Bible. It's because that man has a problem that can only be remedied by this one reality, and his name is Jesus Christ. But for those who read your Bible, you know that whole Exodus account with Moses and Pharaoh. There was in a time in that account, reading for those who read your Bible, that Pharaoh consented to say, okay, I will let your God's people go. But, but this is this. I'll let you go, but you got to leave everything right over here in Egypt with me. And, and Moses says, no, we must come out and we must bring everything out with us as well. Because when we get into our king, our promised land, these are the very things that we're going to use and worship our God with. So when God brings us out of spiritual Egypt, he doesn't leave our talents over there. He doesn't leave our treasures over there. He brings us out and he commands us to bring everything else out with us and submit it to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Because this is all of redemptive history. That it was God working in Christ, reconciling this world unto himself according to the gospel. Amen? Amen? So in reality of all of that, when God is not just redeeming man to himself, he's redeeming cultures, he's redeeming different styles of music. And with that being said, that's why Zion stands upon the stage and does what he does. Because there is a culture, we don't have to go to India or Africa to do missionary work. Missions are going on right here in America. Amen. And one of those cultures that's yet to be affected with the true gospel of Jesus Christ is hip hop culture. They need Jesus too. Yes. Amen? Amen. And so here's what Paul says it like this in Corinthians chapter number nine. We become all things to all men. Never compromising our stand, never compromising the gospel, never compromising our holiness, all to one means that hopefully by the power of God's truth, we might win some. Amen? Amen. So with that being said, are you all, 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 all a little more relaxed now? It's going to be all right. And to assure that it's going to be alright, I'm going to do this for you. Listen to this. Born as a rebel sent from heaven, Emmanuel. Oh yes, it's safe to say that God became a man. Hypostatic union incarnate, God in human flesh. It was God in Christ reconciling this world to himself. We've been blessed. His name be praised for the second great work of redemption. Because without a romantic, like not even mentioned. But I heard of a love that they call a God. That through the lens of the scriptures, behold the risen Lord. Everything that he created, one day will bow before him. Because he's preeminent. Yeah, that means he reigns supreme. Not first in creation, but first over all things. For it's by him and through him that all things consist. For it's from him and to him that all things exist. Picture his blood is the currency that purchased freedom. In Hebrew, Yahweh Yeshua. We simply call it Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. We call it Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And this next song I'm going to do for you.
is one of those kind of participation songs. I'm not gonna make you stand up, but right when you're comfortably seated, I just want you, can you open your mouth and emote with me a little bit? Can, can you help me? I need your help. Now I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Y'all ain't gonna treat me like this, is it? <laughs> I just need you to help me, and I'm gonna teach you the part. I'm gonna teach you the part. It's real simple, okay? But you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to. Only thing I need you to do is say, I'm in this world, in this world, but not of it, of it. That's, that's all, that's all I'll do. Me and DJ Invisible will take care of the rest. I'm in this world, in this world, but not of it, of it. Can you handle that? You sure? Now I need y'all to say it, but I need y'all to say it with every fiber of your being if you, if you can muster. Just, 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 for, just for this one song, okay? All right? And this song is called Vagabond, and it speaks to this reality as my brother just was asking me out in the lobby. What is a vagabond? I know what a vagabond is, but what is this about? And the Bible tells us in Colossians chapter number three that since we are risen with Christ, for the true believer here, we ought to seek those things which are above. In the light of why that reality reigns true in many of different lights, one of the most essential realities is that's our true citizenship. That is where our God is. That is where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. That is where our true home, our reward, and that's where we're headed. So we live in light of eternity. We live in light of that reality. Wherein this world is a loose garment, that we may truly render ourselves of some, king, some service to the kingdom of Christ. Amen? Yeah. So y'all ready? Yeah. Run